Rod Smith here from Smith Industries in Saskatoon, Canada. Today we're here with the SmithVac HV1209 single axle hydrovac. This is a very compact, lightweight and maneuverable hydrovac. It's 11 and a half feet tall and 27 feet long. It has a debris capacity of 5.9 cubic yards and a water tank capacity of 900 US gallons. It's mounted on a Freightliner M2106 4x4 and I wanted to say a special thanks to Dave's Construction for allowing us to film this video today. Up front we have the heated and insulated storage cabinet. There's the infamous Smith boot and mitt dryer. We have cabinet hooks for hats and coats. We have the storage bins that are adjustable along with LED lights and there's a work light on top. At the front of the debris tank we have the final filter, an aluminum cyclone, a large oil cooler. Above that there's a side facing work light. There's a vacuum gauge and then the debris level gauge. As well, there is a very good size storage cabinet on the side. On the back of the unit, we have folding rear steps. We've got three seven inch storage tubes for dig tubes and extensions. We've got the water tank with three two inch sight glasses. There's a half opening door for dumping the mud. It has a six inch discharge valve and a four inch decanting valve. This unit has an optional aero board for traffic control. There's also an optional grease bank for greasing the rear door and the boom. This unit has a rear view camera. There's rear facing strobe lights and rear facing LED work lights. At the back we have the control panel. At the top there's the boiler power switch and override switches, the boiler fuel pressure, the boiler thermostat, wash pump on and off, wash pressure adjustment and wash pressure gauge. We have the switches for work lights, heaters, idle control, etc. And we have the vacuum pressure gauge and hydraulic pressure gauges. This is the wash cabinet. All the wash components are in this heated cabinet and that guarantees that this unit will operate perfectly in the winter. In the top corner, there's the heater. Right here we have the boiler with a Beckett diesel fired oil burner. This unit has two Hane electric rewind hose reels. There's a General T2040 wash pump. It's rated at 10 gallons a minute at 3,000 PSI. And in the top corner, there's an antifreeze storage tank that can be used for putting antifreeze through the wash system for cold weather storage. This unit is equipped with a vacuum boom. It has a six inch hose. 14 and a half foot collapse length and it extends 10 feet to 24 and a half feet. The boom has wireless controls as well as manual controls. This unit is equipped with a traffic cone holder. A storage cabinet with adjustable bins. This unit has an optional sewer jetting kit. So 
It's got a sewer jetting hose on an electric hose reel. It's a cabinet heater to keep this compartment warm in the winter. It's also got an air blowout system to blow out the hose reel for storage. And the controls for the unit are here. We've got the hydraulic controls for the boom and the rear door and the hoist. For more information on this unit and other vacuum trucks and vacuum equipment, contact Smith Industries in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada or go to smithvac.com. Thanks for watching.